Day 16 of 100 Days of Code, and today we're going to cheat our way through a while loop and make sure that we never have to suffer the indignity of an infinite loop ever again. So, we've seen how while loop works. They're basically if statements on steroids, which is great, but there's a lot of thinking involved in setting one up. We have to start a variable, think of a condition, make sure the condition's right, and change that condition variable inside the code. And often that leads to confusion and that leads to a bunch of code being written that causes infinite loops accidentally. We don't want that. So one of the most useful kind of while loops that we will ever see disgusts me a little bit as a programmer, but do marvelous things. And I would just say this, if you ever need to use a while loop, try this one first despite the fact that it feels a bit like a cheat. So here is a slightly different version of a while loop called a while true loop. And the reason for that is our condition is just the word true with a capital T. Now this is a specific kind of variable. It's called a Boolean. A Boolean variable can have two different values, true, capital T, and false, capital F. So what I'm basically saying to the computer at this point is, whilst true is true, which it always is. So I've basically made myself an infinite loop. Don't let that frighten you though, because there is a way of manually breaking out of it. In this program, I'm simply just printing out a silly sentence and then asking the user if they want to go again. If they say no, I'm gonna use the keyword break. Break is a function that exits the loop that you are currently in. Interestingly, it completely stops at that point. If you had more code inside the loop, it wouldn't run any of it. It jumps out of the loop into the first unindented line after the while loop and carries on from there. So let's see how this program is going to work. So it's asked us if we want to go again, and I'm going to say yes yes, and suddenly no. Now, it exited the loop, it printed line six, which is the first unindented line after the while loop, and we haven't seen any problems with that. And it works perfectly fine. The reason that I, as a programmer, might suck my teeth and pull a little face at that is that we are actually doing a bit more work because a while loop can stop itself with a condition. In this situation, the while loop will never stop itself. We've forcibly made an infinite loop, but that's no problem as long as you deal with it with a break command. But what this does is it makes it simpler to write. This is a much easier way of writing a while loop than what we did yesterday. Pause the video now and try this for yourself. See if you can get a few silly sentences being printed out before it stops. Here's a really common problem that we see a lot. Let's run this code and see what's wrong with it. Hmm, it's moaning about true not being defined. Can you see what's wrong with it? You're absolutely right. We missed that capital T on true. It's an easy fix, but a really common mistake. When you change it to a capital T, you'll notice it's changed color. This is because Replit notices that true with a capital T is a specific thing it is a Boolean, and that means that it can be processed properly. By clicking Run on this, I've built myself a simple calculator that keeps adding up my score until I say no. Here's another error. Let's run the program and see what's going on. This time, it's complaining that break is outside the loop. Take a look and see what you think the problem is. Now, this is an interesting one because this can happen by accident or this can happen by misunderstanding. What's happened here is that line seven, eight, and nine, where we ask for an input and use it to break, is not actually inside the loop. Look at that dotted line coming down from line two. It stops before line seven, which means line seven, eight, and nine are not in the loop. To get that in the loop, you'd highlight the entire chunk 
and press the tab key on your keyboard. Now the dotted line covers that section of code and that means it'll be part of the loop. And it works. Now is your time to try and fix the problems of the code I've given you. Take a few minutes and see if you can get it running. Your challenge for today. You are going to build a program that uses a loop to keep asking your user to fill in the blank in a lyric or a statement or a quote of your choice. The more difficult you make it, the better. And you are going to count the amount of times it takes them to guess before they get the right answer. You should print out the amount of times it took them as the very last thing before the program finishes. This is a great challenge to use a while true loop in the right context and you get to see a program which shouldn't really know how often it should repeat become reality. It's also a great way of testing out your friends and family to see if they really know the lyrics to your favourite song. I know mine will be looking at a bit of this. Don't forget to publish or share your work using the hashtag replit 100 days of code for a bit of feedback and to really see how good your friends and family are at identifying the lyrics to your favourite songs. Day 17 tomorrow, we're going to look at one more little trick that we can use with a while loop, the continue statement, which will make our rock, paper, scissors game from a few days ago even better. Thank <music> you.